So this is my Aqua Pro. Uh, it's a $400 unit extractor. It's not heated. And um, it lasted me three years, you know, it lived its life. It's very banged up and so it's time for me to build a new one. See how bad it is. It don't matter how many times I open this up to clean it. I already damaged it pretty bad from opening it up. This whole piece broke off. This is just a video to explain and show how you can build your own instead of having to buy pre-made kits online that are pretty expensive for the stuff that they make them out of. Uh, the material and stuff is pretty cheap and they sell it for $250. And again, I'm gonna be using the Mighty uh, extractor head, but you don't have to. You might wanna change some of the fittings up just a little bit to fit the other extractor head that you want and for the hose. But this current build is exactly like Hawaiian auto detailing. Most already have a rigid vacuum. I would also recommend to buy this hose, the professional grade hose, and uh, you can save the original hose so you can uh, do regular vacuuming. I'll have all the parts in my bio in the link uh, for my exact build. But like I said, this is just to show you a concept. That way you don't have to use a mighty extractor head. They're pretty expensive. You can use a cheaper one, a $20 one. Uh, just make sure you find the right fittings to fit the hose and the water hose connector. You will also need a wet vac filter. So these are the two fittings you'll need. Uh, again, it'll be in the link. This whole 50 foot line was only $25. This was probably pretty expensive, uh, $50. This was 130. And then this fitting is for the hose and this will go into the extractor. It'll slide in and then it's threaded inside. You unscrew this piece and you screw this on and then this goes into the head. Like I said, for this build, it's connecting to uh, the rigid vacuum, uh, the mighty extractor head, and then the water lines hooking up to the hose outside but you can hook it up to a water tank. Replace this part. It's, gonna, it's a reverse thread. All right, so scratch that. This part, uh, it will not work because the thread is a little bit too small. So I'm just gonna put this back on. And this comes with this hose kit that you buy. So I'm just gonna shove it. Now I'm probably gonna, you can if you want to, just heat this up a little bit, expand it. It should be good enough. And yeah, I think this is better. The attachment that comes with the hose because it does swivel also. This thing does not. And like I said, I forced it in there, but you can probably heat this up just a little bit. There you go. And it swivels. So this is the air part. This will go that's the suction part. It'll go straight to the shop vac. For the line, you're gonna use an air hose. Like I said, quarter inch fittings. That's all we're gonna use is quarter inch fittings. I got a 50 hose line. So now it's hooked up. So now on the other end, this is a standard outside hose fitting that way you got the pressure from the actual water hose outside or your water pump, whatever you have. Now this fitting has an Allen, so you use an Allen to tighten it because this is also swivel. So you wanna put in a wet vac filter. They, they do buy sleeves for the whole hose if you want to have it look more professional and you know, put together. So far, uh, there's two things that Hawaiian detailing have wrong with size-wise, and it's zip ties and this part, but it's not a big deal. Ended up not needing this anyways. And with the zip ties, I can just double them up.
So there you go. This hose connects to the shock bag. This line connects either to your tank or the hose outside. If you want to go use a regular shop vac, you just take this off and put the original hose, original hose back on so you can just use your regular hose. But again, if it was me, I would probably buy another one of these hoses. They are pretty expensive, $50, but they're a lot longer than this one. And again, you can buy one of those hose sleeves that covers this whole thing. That way it's more put together and not flimsy and it just looks more professional. Again, this whole build is pretty cheap. You know, it's even cheaper than Aquavac, but this has a much stronger suction and stronger um, pressure from the water. You know, most of you guys already have this kind of rigid shock back, so. Now again, if you are gonna go with the Mighty Light uh, extractor head, uh, when the part comes in, I would inspect it to see if, uh, in just in case you might need to exchange it. Uh, mine does leak out a little bit once I turn on the water and it came with a little bit of cracks right here. But other than that, it's functional.